of cases of public servants who may be experiencing issues and challenges with mental health. And why are we doing this intervention? We are doing this intervention because we have uh, realized that there are increasing cases of mental illness in public service. We have several cases or many cases of people uh, with problems of drug abuse, alcohol, some members of staff who are depressed. And this happened so much even after COVID-19 when we asked people to work from home and many people started suffering isolation and, and loneliness. And the end result of, was, of that was that many of them were depressed. So this is an intervention in itself because we are going to train them on essential counseling skills, life skills, uh, mentorship, early detection, so that they can become uh, of help to their colleagues. So basically this is why we are here. As you all know, mental health is a global challenge. Uh, the statistics that we read there from uh, WTO is that you have over close to a million people globally who kill themselves through suicide as, uh, because of depression. And, and several others who are abusing drug and ETC, about 264 million people globally with one form or other of mental health. So governments have to step in and, and, and intervene. And the government through the State Department of Public Service is doing exactly that. Police officers, probably I'm not the best person to answer that, but we have also trained some of people in the police force on these counseling skills. And I also know they have a unit that is doing the same. Uh, when the, rec the recently um, vetted uh, IG was talking, he spoke to this issue of mental health. And he said he's going to focus on the mental health of uh, the uniformed uh, forces, which is, which is welcome. The same counseling skills, early detection, and also improving the working conditions where they are, they are working. We do not have the numbers uh, right now because we take reports from, from the, the ministries, uh, but we have enough, we have enough of them, yeah. We have a good number of public servants who are one form or another. Remember, it is a whole range, it's a whole range. Either you are drinking too much or you have drug issues, you are coming to work late, you are depressed, you have anxiety, all this, we identify them as mental health. They are showing signs of isolation. You are non-communicative. So it is, and by the way, each one of us could be suffering one form or another, even as we are standing here, all of us. Yeah, so this is why we are doing this. Across the ministries, we've already trained 302 mental health champions. Now this is another cohort of 30, and we progressively continue to train them. We have given them a tool which they will use for detecting this mental health and a reporting tool. So we are hoping progressively we will see the public service improve in the area of mental health. Yes, uh, I myself have experienced that because uh, earlier on in 2019-2020, we started the program on uh, improving the public service through succession management. That program including redistributing staff and transferring people who had been in state departments for four years and above. And uh, after we did that big program, we got so, so many requests on uh, basis of to receive our decision because people had issues from the stations that they, 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 were, they were working in. People don't want to move because where they are, that is where their medical services are. Some have sick parents. So we got a lot of uh, requests for repealing that decision. And then it occurred to us that as we are implementing policy, you know, policy is a document. A rule is a rule. It does not speak to anything. It's just a rule. A regulation is just a regulation. We thought as we uh, implement public service rules, policies and regulations, we are, we are implementing them on people, not on objects. Like we said, people not objects. These are people with emotions, these are people facing certain uh, issues in life and therefore is to implement these rules with a human heart. Where somebody is unwell or they have family, people who are unwell and they have been at station for 10 years, allow them to stay because if you move them, then they become worse. They could be a suicide case. So it is just implementing 
uh, public service policies with dignity and with sensitivity to what people are going through.